up y'all so i have another foundation demo and review for y'all i haven't done one of these in probably a month i don't even remember what the last one was that i did i think it was the custom cover drops from cover effects and we all know how that turned out anyways uh the foundation that i'm going to be demoing and reviewing for you guys today is the new MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Foundation. So when I first kind of looked into it and seen that it said nourishing, I was like, oh hell no, because to be honest with you guys, for some reason lately, I have been so freaking oily. Like I always tell you guys that I am like dry combo, that I get just barely oily in the T-zone and not even to the point where I have to like touch up or anything during the day. Just a little bit like shiny, if you will, in my T-zone and then I'm dry everywhere else. Girl, I am straight up converted. I am an oily freaking grease ball. I don't know if it's because I live in Ohio and it has literally been raining 40 days and nights here for, I'm, I'm not even kidding. It has been raining for literally two weeks straight and is supposed to continue raining for literally two weeks straight. It's crazy, there's like floods everywhere, it's just nuts, it's nuts. So I don't know if it's because it's been so humid out that I am just like sweating balls all the time or what the dealio. So I decided to pick this up. I got the color NW25. If you are not familiar with the way Max like color system works, it's their color system. You have your NWs and your NCs and your C's and your W's. So it goes cool, neutral, cool, neutral, neutral, warm, warm. That's the way MAC runs their foundations. And it's a little bit tricky, especially if you've never bought one before, because in MAC's eyes, it's kind of flipped because if you are of a warm undertone, you're going to be a neutral, cool foundation because that foundation is going to neutralize the coolness in your skin does that make sense that's why it's neutral cool because it's neutralizing the coolness so a mac um makeup artist told me before an easy way to remember it is to remember like what your undertone is or what undertone to get is if you are an nc then you're not cool and if you are an nw then you're not warm does that make sense i hope that makes a little bit more sense than what i'm trying to explain here because i don't feel like it's coming out right if you have not heard of this foundation this is max new 24 hour waterproof nourishing foundation when i first heard the word nourishing like i said i am an oily bitch so i was like oh hell no and then when i went and did research on it it's actually created for oily skin and the girl at mac said that there are components in here that actually repel oil however even though it is created for oily skin rather than having like a super crazy matte finish like studio fix does it actually has more of like a satin and even leaning towards like a dewy or more natural finish which i really like because i find that even though right now i'm oily when I use like super crazy mattifying foundations, like say the Kat Von D Locket foundation, it's just way too mattifying and it like, I don't know what it does. It just like makes me look like I'm 100 years old. It's cray. So the cost of this foundation is $32 and it is 0.84 ounces, which is kind of weird. I don't know why they made it 0.84 ounces because most of MAC foundations are one ounce, which is like a standard foundation size. So I have no clue why they only made this 0.84 ounces I think it's kind of stupid but whatever it comes in like a little squeezy tube like this so it's super easy application most MAC foundations do come with a pump but this one comes in the squeeze tube and to be honest I actually prefer the squeeze tube over the pump because your pump can get like gunked up and nasty and sometimes you end up pumping out more than what you actually need. The consistency of this is like a true foundation consistency, like a true liquid OG liquid foundation consistency, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know about you guys, but I am like seriously completely over all of these new foundations coming out that are just like chalked full of freaking silicone. And the consistency of this is like the OG, like, um, I would compare it to the consistency of, um, what is it, Revlon Color Stay. It's kind of that consistency, just that original liquid foundation consistency, which I really, really like. As far as the coverage goes, it is 
a medium to buildable full coverage this builds up so nicely so it does have very full coverage as far as the staying power goes it is amazing girl i wore this to a wedding this weekend and it like i said has been raining balls in ohio for like the past two freaking weeks and we went to a friend's wedding this weekend and the wedding was outside they did have a tent but that was like the big kind of push over for me to get this because i knew i was either walking into the tent or walking out of the tent they had the keg outside like for the reception because the wedding and the reception were both at one spot and it was just a mess girl and it was raining like balls so i'm like i need a foundation that is not only waterproof but is actually going to stay and like not break down on my skin like foundations have been doing lately so i'm like let me give this a whirl the um it was the second time that i wore it at the wedding and i was completely satisfied like my foundation looked so good at the end of the night um i put this on at probably 1 30 in the afternoon and i took it off at like one o'clock in the morning and it still looked good even like walking out in the rain and like you know getting my hair out of my face and like itching my nose so i have allergies so i'm constantly like digging up my nose it still looked decent like my acne was covered i was super happy as far as this for dry skin i cannot really tell you if i would recommend this for dry skin because like i told you before your girl is an oily bitch now so i don't know how this would act on dry skin just because of the fact that the girl said that there were oil repelling components in this i'm assuming that if you're somebody that's more on the drier side this is probably not going to be the right foundation for you even though it does have like that satin finish or that like dewy-esque natural finish to it it may still be kind of drying on your skin if you have like dry patches or anything like that it's probably going to stick to them and it's probably going to be not the most flattering if you catch my drift all right so enough of me blabbing about it let's go ahead and apply it i'm just going to insert a quick clip um of me applying it like sped through because y'all see me apply foundation a numerous amounts of times and I'm sure it can be a little redundant and boring so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it I'm gonna use my makeup geek foundation stippling brush and then after I apply it I will come back I'm trying to do like a double doser today like I'm filming a makeup tutorial and I'm filming this so I'm kind of trying to like intermingle the two so I can do two kind of makeup videos in one day if you know what I'm saying so the makeup tutorial is probably up so I'll link that down below but Let's let's go ahead and see me apply it, shall we? We shall. Alright y'all, so this is what it looks like applied. As you can see, the color is kind of like I had to blend that shit all the way down my neck. I feel like once it oxidizes down and it only takes like, I mean, as soon as it gets on your skin, it seems like, oh, I thought I spilled some on my shirt. As soon as it gets on your skin, it seems like it kind of oxidizes a little bit. And I feel like it does run just a little bit darker than like a standard um, NW25. So definitely if you decide that you do want to try this out, I would definitely have them put it on you at the Mac store before you buy it. So I don't know if you guys can tell but like on camera, but it has the prettiest like luminosity to it. It's such a natural looking finish and for being so full coverage, like it, I'm just like in love with it. If you couldn't already tell, it doesn't accentuate my pores. It doesn't accentuate my fine lines, anything like that. The color is just a hair off, but I can blend it down my neck and deal with that or just, you know some extra tanner on or something like I can deal with it so let me go ahead and zoom in so you guys can really see what it looks like oh BT dubs I didn't put primer on I mean you all saw in the clip I didn't put primer on but you guys know I never wear primer for these videos just so you can see like the true state of the foundation so let me zoom in and we'll look at it okay all right so you can see it's like not accentuating my pores it's like not sinking into my fine lines into my laugh lines it's not like like accentuating my forehead lines I freaking love this foundation it's covered my acne up obviously it didn't cover this spot because 
this um, Mac Daddy right here is like super hella red so I would have to put green concealer or some kind of neutralizing concealer over that in order for anything to cover that shit up because ain't nothing covering that bad boy up you know what I'm saying but yeah I just really love the finish of it and I just think it's gorgeous so I just I love it I love it so let me go ahead and put the rest of my makeup on and then I will show you guys the finished product all right, y'all, so this is what it looks like with all of the makeups applied on top of it. I did film a tutorial for this look, so if you guys are interested in that, you can look down there because that will already be up before this is. So, I seriously love this, you guys. It is not going to cover, like, this MAC Daddy right here because it's insane and that bad boy is going to need color corrected. But, it seriously looks so awesome. My blush and my bronzer went on really well, and I feel like it's gonna be a new fave. I just love the fact that even though it's for oily skin, it's not crazy flat matte and it doesn't like make you look all old and crusty. It's just, it's full coverage and it doesn't feel super heavy. If you've ever used Studio Fix, like you know when you got some fucking Studio Fix on your face, you know what I mean? Like that shit's like a mask on top of you but it's full coverage and it stays on all day and it looks really good however you can feel that shit on there this like you really can't even feel it on it just like can you guys tell I'm kind of in love with it I feel like it's gonna be my new HG I'm not really down with the fact that you get like not as much foundation as you should because it's 0.84 ounces instead of one ounce but Aside from that, like, I told you guys I went to a wedding this weekend, and it still looked really good when I went to take my makeup off at night, and I just, I'm in love with it. I love it. If you guys like these videos, and you like demos and reviews, give me a thumbs up so I know to keep doing them, and yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you are not. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat if you please, and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace.